Hi everyone, it's Marie at Living Felt and today we're going to go back to the farm and visit our alpaca buddies for shearing day. We are back at the farm and it is shearing day for our local alpaca herd. If you were able to join us earlier this year, we came out during the winter to re-meet the herd and visit with our farming friends. This alpaca is an all-male herd. They need to have their coats shorn once a year and today is that day. It's a pretty nice spring day. It's still a little cool out, but we're past the cold times and it's time for them to get their hair cut for the year. This is really important because it will help them stay cool during the summer and prevent their coat from matting. It's also the right time of year so that they aren't too cold once their skin is a little more bare. They were kept in the pen all night so it's easier to round them up because they recognize the shearers who have been working with them for going on 10 years now or more and it's really not their favorite day of the year. In preparing for the shearing today, the farmers have laid out a tarp so that any fleece that does hit the ground doesn't get dirty and get sticks and hay in it. But what you'll notice is that they're holding a bag to collect the blanket, which is really the premium part of the fleece. It's the softest, finest part of the fleece and the part that we most like to work with, whether you're a knitter, a spinner, or a felter and they're gonna capture it right into the bag so that it stays nice and clean. After shearing the blanket, they will shear their belly, the bridge, the legs, and their neck. And in this case, all of those are considered seconds. So they'll let those hit the ground and then they'll put them in what's considered a trash bag. That trash bag can be used as mulch in the garden. And in some cases, people like to use it for other purposes like putting out fiber for the birds. Each bag is marked with the animal's name on it, so it's very clear which fleece we have. And we'll also have an opportunity to sort of inspect the fleece as it's being shorn and after it goes into the bag so we can see whether there are any issues or problems that might make it a less than premium fleece. The shears that are with us today have their own herd of llama. They are really quite experienced and they travel all over the region to shear alpaca and llama. For this team, this is a mother and daughter duo. The daughter is the primary shearer and the mother assists by keeping the animal calm and doing her best to keep the animal stable. Alpaca can be shorn either standing or lying down and it's a little bit easier to get all around the animal if they stand up. So the animal is reined to the fence just to keep it stable and then the mom provides comfort and soothing while the rest of the herd watches on, glad that they're not in that position. The shearing of each animal takes about 20 to 30 minutes. It really depends on the willingness of each animal being shorn. You can tell that the animals are resistant to being shorn, but then no time are they being injured. They never cry out, they never wince, they just don't really love it. However, it's so important and so helpful for them to have this coat removed for the summer. It's an important part of caring for them. Sharing day is really like their little spa day because their hooves also get clipped. If their teeth are too long, those can get filed down and they also get their immunizations. We love how cute they look after they're shorn because they still have these bobby tails and their heads are still full of fiber and some of them are a little bit fussy so the very bottom of their feet don't get finished. But overall, they're in a really good position for a hot Texas summer. What's really cute is after they're all done and they go back, the rest of the herd just can't resist checking them out. Larry shared with us that uh, one of the reasons the animals sniff the one that has just been shorn is they wanna make sure that he's the same critter. 
This herd has some beautiful variety in their fiber. We have some really dark chocolates that go to kind of milk chocolate, maybe even caramelly tips. And then we have some beautiful reddish brown as well. What we have here are two baskets of the same fleece. This fleece right here is as it came off the animal and was shorn right into the bag. When we look at it up close, we can see all of the beautiful variegation of the color within the shaft of the fiber. So the outermost tips are blondish or a little more caramel colored. And you can see a little bit of the field dust that they get just from hanging around along with tiny bits of vegetable matter. But there's no lanolin in it and honestly, it really doesn't smell like anything. This bowl of fleece that we have over here has been carefully hand washed by our fairy Alyssa. We wash it in very small batches with a lovely, gentle, very high quality biodegradable soap that we also sell here in the shop. And the main difference between this basket and this amount of fiber here is that you no longer see the field dust. Some of the vegetable matter has now been washed away in the cleansing, cleaning process, but anything that remains, the fiber is so loose and easily separated that the vegetable matter will just fall out. So this fiber is ready to be hand carded, run through your drum carter. You could hand spin it if you're a spinner, just like it is, or you can needle felt it into your next project because it's ready to go. If you're doing realistic animals, there's just nothing like the natural color from an animal's coat. For people who are allergic to wool, alpaca is a really great option, whether you're just working with it or you're felting with it. It's wonderful for next to the skin and is really loved by people for making wearables. Many people say that it feels lighter than wool, but because it still wicks away moisture, it's a great thermal regulator and can help keep you cool or warm as needed. When wet felting with alpaca, I do notice that it tends to be a little bit hairy. So if you're not sure about the project that you want to wet felt the alpaca fiber with, just make a small test piece with whatever fiber you have and look at the end result to evaluate whether it'll work for the project you have in mind. We sell this fiber uncarded so that you can take advantage of those naturally colored tips and the variegation within the fiber and make your animal portraits or 3D animal sculptures look as realistic as possible. We really love it when we live close enough to our fiber farms that we can visit, get to know the farmers, and get to meet the animals as well. I especially love being able to handpick fleeces by visiting and touching each individual animal. And we hope that you'll check out some of these fleeces. Join us again as we process and work with some of this fiber in future projects. We hope you enjoyed this little visit to the farm with us and have a little better insight on what shearing day is like for critters. If you check out this fiber and make something with it, we hope you'll share a picture with us so we can see how you're putting it to use. If you'd like more on our visit to this alpaca farm, check out this video right here.